Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. I'm here with somebody most of you probably already know, David from Ultimate Survival Tips. And I first met David at SHOT Show earlier this year and he was kind of to show me a secret prototype of his MSK-1 survival knife he's got out now. Well, it's funded on Kickstarter. It is going to be a reality. So I thought I'd take a minute here at Blade 2016 and talk to David about all the details on his knife, just in case you haven't seen it. And if you haven't seen it, by the way, check, I'll put a link to his video below because it's going to be way better than this one. But, but here we go. <laughs> Good. Dude, thanks, man. Good to see it was you. great to meet you at SHOT Show, and, and thanks for stopping by. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really excited about your knife. So real quickly, how did you come up with the concept to, um, to create this knife? My concept was I wanted one knife that could be a, a very good all-around knife. I wanted a, something that could chop good, something that I could get right up in and do fine detail work, something that that with a little bit of work can have a, a back edge for tactical sort of things, kind of like a just an all-around all around multi-purpose knife. So what I, what I did is I started doing some designing. I knew Jeff Freeman who you guys probably know he's the designer of the Gerber LMF2, the 06 Auto, and a whole bunch of other things. And we got together and said, hey, let's, let's make a knife. And it's been a wild ride. We've been working on this since 2014. Wow. And this is prototype four, and it's done. There's going to be a couple of tweaks to the final final, but it's only going to be better, the production ones. Uh, we took it to Kickstarter, which you know, and decided to uh, do it go that route because honestly I made this knife for myself and I would have been sad a little bit because I think it's a nice knife that a lot of guys would like but I would have been okay if if I had like seven prototypes to pass on to my kids and my grandkids uh, but the best way to really do something like this is design what you want right make it a legacy product made in the USA and um, took it to Kickstarter to see if the world would want it. And within, uh, within two days, we met our goal. I think we're somewhere around seven or 800% of the goal right now. Wow. So this is a reality. This will be made and produced and we'll be delivering the first one sometime in September, between September and early October. So it was a big deal to you that it was made in the USA? It was a huge deal. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was absolutely huge to me to make um, to work with U.S. manufacturers, to work with Jeff in design and production and sourcing and all of that U.S. steel. And, um, you know, I wanted Jeff as a dream to bring jobs to the area that he grew up in. He just recently moved back there. So it's kind of like a backstory thing. And I wanted to support this dream. He does awesome. It's incredible. This knife would not exist if it wasn't for Jeff Freeman. It does great work. Yeah. It does great, fantastic work. If you're coming to Blade Show, stop by booth uh, 343 and see his wonderful work. But but yeah, it was a legacy knife for me. I wanted one knife that could last conceivably with little care for the rest of my life. Pull me out of a tough situation. Can do bushcraft, tactical tactical work, camp craft. Um, it's a good camping knife and just, just all around that it would last. A quarter inch steel, full tang, all of that sort of stuff. So you've probably reviewed as many knives as anybody on the planet. So what, what sets your knife apart from the thousands of other knives that you reviewed? It's a really good question. So we exper experimented with a lot of different steels. I wanted a steel that would hold a ridiculous edge and I didn't have to maintain much. Uh, we ended up with D2. I'm still, this is my prototype that's a year and a couple of months old. This is my prototype three. I've been using this hard. It's the one that's in the Kickstarter video. So that's the and one I, I saw at Shot Show. Yeah, I have never sharpened this knife. I only have stropped it, and it's still razor sharp. I could shave the hair off the back of my arm with it. And this is, I wanted a chopper. So uh, when I got prototype one, actually, I was at Sigma Three Survival School in Arkansas for the 40-day instructor's program. And Jeff sent me prototype one. Within two days, I completely retired my hatchet. I, I don't carry a survival hatchet or anything now because this does what I need. I also wanted a knife that would, what I, the problem that I found with a lot of larger quarter inch, you know, full tag knives is that I really couldn't do fine bush or camp craft work. I couldn't carve. So 
I don't know if you guys can see this. It's in the video. So I spent like an hour and a half one day, a couple of months ago, oh, and I got cool. my knife out and I just, I just carved this guy in like an hour and a half with the MSK1. Um, so it's, it's equally as good at hard batoning work, fine work, and chopping work. So it's versatile in that way. And plus, it's, it's just built ridiculously tough. Yeah. So there's a lot of other things, but that's yeah. So so that's one of the things beginning. that I think is cool is the fact this has a built-in survival kit, not in the sheath, but in the knife. Right. Yeah. So, so which is pretty cool. Can you talk just a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, sure. So the backstory to that is um, when we were kids, like we had the Rambo, great Rambo. Oh yeah. One was out, and we all got the like reproduction Rambo knives, and they had the survival kit in the hand, and we've all had that. But the knife was junk. And the survival kit, kit was mostly like a gimmick, right? Right. So what I wanted to do is I worked with Wazoo Survival Gear. You know those guys, yep. right? They're survival yep. bracelets. For years and years, they've been perfecting micro survival kits. So I worked with Dustin there and Nick and probably about a year and a half, almost two years, right from the beginning, to design kind of like a last-ditch survival kit with hard to improvise items um, that could actually save your life. So to get to, everybody says, well, how do you get to the survival kit in the handle? Because it's not like a screw on barrel, glad you asked. <laughs> yeah. So even to get to this kit, most knife makers do not want you to get take the handles off. We want you to take the handle off. So what, what Jeff did is we talked about it. We decided to design slotted handle bolts. These are custom made. So you can see those the slots right there. Those are custom made. Any coin. We designed these to fit a nickel dime, penny nickel dime quarter. You can use a zipper pull on your jacket or your fly or a flat rock to unscrew these and then the handle slab comes off. Under the handle slab we have a bunch of tools. One for water purification. You've seen the uh, the oven bags that you cook your turkey in. Heat resistant, one liter water bag. You can boil water in this, and uh, you can just seal it, seal it up with one of the Ranger bands, and uh, just do UV purification. Yeah. So there's your water bag or anything else bag, which is missing from a lot of small uh, yep. micro survival kits. And so there it is, right there. You guys can see like oh yeah, woo, how small that is. It's wrapped in a Ranger band. I'll get to those. And in this section, we have sealed, uh, this one is 20 feet of 50 pound test fishing line. It's also good for um, first, you know, right. sewing gear and all that sort of stuff. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Um, fishing kit, magnetized sewing needle for navigation and sewing up gear, stitching yourself. A couple of safety pins, uh, hooks, sinkers, first aid tinder pack. So it's um, triple antibiotic, tri triple antibiotic infused cotton gauze that, can, that you can use for fire tinder and for taking care of first aid stuff. And then you have. And I know it burns real good because we did that. That's the same thing they put in their survival braces. And, yep, those yep. and it burns great. And then we have the Ranger bands for fire extenders. So with, with one or two of those and these, you get about six minutes of tinder until you get your fire going. And then each one of these comes with a, a mini survival uh, yeah. barrel rod. But that's pretty good size. What is that, eighth inch? Um, I will tell you that we're still working on the, okay. on the, the prototype of this. And there's a thinner one here and a thicker one, so we're kind of working out the dimensional yeah. aspect of that. So fortunately with the Kickstarter, we get them, like the flexibility to really tweak out yeah, even absolutely. some things that we're not finished with. So. Yeah, that is, that's a good way, reason to use Kickstarter. Yep. And I think that's it for the survival kit. Yeah. But the other thing that I saw in your video, which was, I thought was really cool, was it's not just a, uh, you got a sheath system, right? Yep. Which is pretty cool too. Yep. So can we talk about that for a minute? Real quick, yeah, sure. So this is this is my beater, one year old, ACS. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, we call it the ACS, Adaptable Carry System. So unlike a lot of she I always wondered why people would design a nice knife and not really take the care in a sheath. Some people like the nylon sheaths, some people like Kydex. So what we did is we designed both. 
So with the removal of the single bolt, <laughs> the Kydex sheath comes right out, and then we provide the uh, belt loop frog. So if you want Kydex, there's your Kydex. It's, you know, a nice low pro profile Kydex sheath. Yep. If you want, if you want nylon with some on steroids, you've got this. With the cool thing about this nylon sheet is we also designed kit pouches. Oh yeah. So we got the kit pouch with Molly compatible straps, strapping on the front. You can add that on. We've got the a bunch of tools. We've got the small MSK1 knife that bolts onto this or the Kydex sheet and and the fire steel that can bolt on also. Yeah. And, and so it's all made to go together. It's all made to go together, and like on Kickstarter, the starter package comes with, comes just like this. So if you just want the Kydex, you can get the Kydex. The cool thing about this system is, you can add components. You could start here, if okay. your budget constrained, or maybe you just want to start there. You can always add the outer, uh, the outer layer. And the cool thing about this is, it's drop carry with the strapping in the back. You roll this over, run the straps up through there. Now it's a standard carry. You can. We also provide the strapping here so that you can molly carry yeah. that too. But the cool thing is that people can start here. They can add on the sheath and they can add on the kit pouches. They can add on the little MSK1 knife or the, um, the sheath and the larger fire steel. So real quickly then, we'll wrap. so what about the MSK1 knife? I think that's the small one. Oh, the MSK1 Mini? Mini, yeah, there you go. So there's the MSK1 Mini. It's D2 steel again, black powder coated. This one, this is kind of cool too. So there's a lot of different functions to this, but this is an intentional slot. It's designed to take a two inch fire steel rod. So that's two inch, it goes in there. So then you can wrap it in paracord, and you can keep that rod right in there for emergencies. Use the striker on the, the pummel end. Or, let's say you want the fishing kit. The fishing kit fits right in there. You can put that in there, wrap it with paracord. And, you know, this is just made to be a bolt-on. It bolts, bolts on to either the kydex or the nylon outer sheath. And or you could use it as a neck knife. And, oh yeah, here's one. Right Speaking here. of that, there you go. Yeah. Or you can use one as a neck knife. Yeah. So if folks want to learn more about this, where can they go? Okay, uh, they can go to our website at ultimatesurvivaltips.com, and there's links there, and there's a little, actually a different kind of backstory on the knife. They can click on that, go to the Kickstarter, or you can go just right to Kickstarter. You can type in in the search knife or MSK1, and you can search on Google if you put in MSK-1 ultimate knife or whatever it'll come up on Kickstarter and you can go there and right now I think we have 10 or 11 days we've got some early bird specials going on and you can build your own package there whatever you want right up to all of the components that we just talked about here in one package we've got the ultimate survival package there too and people can um, pledge if they just want to support the project and give us a thumbs up and, and just they appreciate the videos that you know you and I kind of do as YouTubers we've got pledge levels as low as two bucks and they get cool, cool stuff there too cool. well David I really appreciate you taking time to talk Dude, about this thank and you, I think man. your knife is really cool I'm and really I, honored that you stopped by I appreciate it man uh, thanks a lot once again this is Brian from Survival on Purpose remember survival is not an accident be prepared I'll see you next time great thanks guys